Fever pit scenes here at the MCG. Rog, we've just seen a very emotional exit of the ground by Neil Danaher, raising great awareness for Freeze m &D. The celebrities going into the uh, the icy cold drink has been hilarious, but now we get into the football, mate. Mate, that imagery of both sets of teams forming a guard of honour as Neil Danaher got a standing ovation from a packed MCG as he walked down the race. It seems symbolic. It certainly hit me emotionally in a way I didn't really expect or anticipate. What a special moment. Very happy I was there to witness that. Who are you tipping for today? Can the D's cause a bit of an upset? Where for? The Pies are flying in first position. They've only dropped one game for the season. Can we get the job done? I wouldn't consider it an upset at all. I see these as a genuine point flip. Uh, I'm leaning towards the D's at the moment. I reckon you suffocate the players. I reckon you stop them from doing that run and gun song. And you said it earlier today, mate. You suggested that there's a chance this could be the Grand Final preview. And I reckon there's a huge chance to ride and this is one of the games of the season. The D's would have to do a lot right in the back end of the season to really state their claim. The Pies are absolutely flying. We never win on Queen's or King's birthday. I'm going to tip the D's by 21. I'm considering this a bit of an upset. This is a good audit for the Melbourne Football Club. It's a huge clash. I'm going to go the days of why uh, a behind kick after the siren. Fast start to the Pies. They've kicked the first two goals of the game. Pretty easy snags as well. That one by Chris. It was a defensive 50 stoppage, which we have been leaking all season. It was like a training drill where you just tap it to the front of the stoppage. Chris runs through with a bit of pace, and he's a left footer, so we had no one guarding that dangerous space for him. Um, transition is battling a little bit. We've made a lot of errors with hand and boot. So uh, concerning start here at the MCG, got to keep the next one here. Harvey Harrison. As I live and breathe, um, he's keeping their third. The D's have lost. <laughs> we have lost the contest. You haven't lost already, have you? I think we have lost. It could be a bloodbath. Yeah, we're not going to win this. Um, frustrating. They're doing as they please. They're a very good footy side, so it could be a long day here at the MCG. Jussie Brayshaw, good mark. Probably could have been 50 against Maynard. We played on. We played on. Viney free inside 50, rolls through and slots it. The D's reduce it to 12 points. Sort of time here at the MCG, and the D's trail by nine points. I may have called the game off after the Pies walked the first three in. Basically, unattended to. It was quite easy, it seemed, but then the D's made it ugly, and we knew that that's what they were going to try and do in this game. Um, the ability to lock it in our front half, the back end of that first term was massive. We just failed to capitalise, and I felt like over the last three or four weeks, we've struggled to put it on the scoreboard. So we've kicked 1-4, they've kicked 3-1. We missed some easy, easy chances. Cozzy didn't even make the distance on one of them, directly in front of Cordy out. So if we could have finished a couple of goals there, I reckon we'd be up. Uh, a lot to like in that first term, despite how easy the Pies had it early on. Uh, we're going okay. I feel alright. We're going okay. This term's massive. If we can put it on the scoreboard, I reckon we'll have the Pies on the back foot. Two in a row to the Melbourne Football Club, the Pies answer back. It's been played on our terms for majority of the game now, but haven't capitalised. Mason Cox walks in with a pretty simple mark and goal. Got to get on the scoreboard here, the Dees. The Dees thankfully answer back very, very quickly. Out of the stoppage, Fritter Marks kicks the goal because he did great work off the footy to make sure Quainer couldn't intercept or impact the contest. We trail by four. It feels like we should be winning. We're playing such good footy. Half time here at the G. I don't want to be a guy that lives in the coulda, woulda, shoulda world, but um, man, time in forward half was a leap. We locked the footy in. It lived in there for most of that first half. And we couldn't put it on the scoreboard. Three goals, eight to five goals, four. 12 scoring shots to nine. I know there's not a big disparage. What's the word? Disparity. D disparity in the the, uh, the scoring shots, but it just feels like we're on top. Imagine if it was eight three instead of three eight. You have dominated the territory. Pies just know how to capitalise on their chances, and uh, at least you know that it's a game of territory, as David King would say. You've dominated that table in the second half, you've put it on the scoreboard. The Pies have been good, they're edging us out just at the minute. Um, the territory's been great by the Ds, the forward pressure, the tackling. I'm so ecstatic with the stoppage work. I know they kicked a pretty easy one from stoppage, but 
our midfield's just winning every set of clearance, and we don't do that. I know we've got a stacked midfield, but sometimes, method-wise, other teams can beat us. I know, I know. At least the hot chonkies are great. Hot chonkies are going. Half-time hot chonkies. Going down an absolute treat. Yeah. Big second half. The Ds have to lift. Can we get it done, Rog? Absolutely, can. I'll still back his in by one point after the firing. 26 to 34, big second half coming up. Come on, D. Yeah, man, Joel Smith with the seven point play. Inspirational back with the flight. Gets the Ds within one point. We haven't had the lead for three quarters. It's one of those ones that feels like the game against Freo where we were sort of three points down, then they kicked a couple back to 15, back to three. We need that next goal to get us the lead. We've been the better team for three quarters. That's a momentum shifter. The Ds have kicked the last two or three. We are just peppering the snags, but our inefficient, inefficiency to score has been frustrating, but we've kicked the last two to start this third term, and the G is up and about. What a finish from the Banana Frida, straight through from the Titus of Angles, and all of a sudden the Ds seem a little bit unstoppable at the moment there, momentum. Five goals, 11. It feels like we've had all the momentum since the first 10 minutes of the first term. Late in the third term, Brody Grundy to give us a two goal lead, but it, it feels so much bigger than that. He's lining up. Come on, Grundy. Against the old mob. Is it Grundy? McCreary kicked the last of that quarter. It's three quarter time and the D's lead by six points. Water quarter, the dominance from the first term, well, the dominance from the back half of the first term has continued the whole game. Six goals 11 to six goals five. It's annoying that we're in a position where the game's still on. There's gonna be a monstrous last quarter. Like, you have to know that the last quarter special is fine. The They're not gonna go away. I reckon the Pirates are gonna hit the lead in the last quarter, then you're gonna get the lead back. If they hit the lead, I don't, I, I don't know if we're gonna have the tools to get back in it. They are the specialists of being in this position. We gotta keep grinding it out. This has been the best Melbourne Football Club looking game for a long time. So stingy in defence. One term to go. The D's lead by a goal. We deserve it. We deserve it. <laughs> you win this game and you will go into equal premiership favourites with the pie. Oh, the psychological edge we could get over this mob would be massive. Come on, D's. This is our fourth shot on goal in the last quarter. The Pies have kicked one against the Tide. The D's lead by two. <laughs> Come on, Cosy. We've missed. We've kicked ourselves out of it. We lead by three points, six goals, 14. It has been absolute domination. And we've kicked ourselves out of it against the ladder leaders who love coming back in last term. Come on, Fritter. Come on. The ability to lock it in our forward half has been so impressive all day. Great interception by James Jordan. Good contest down the line by Gorn. Brought it to ground, handball to Coz. Coz with a great lob through ball to Alex Neil Bullen. The Ds lead by 10. We've kicked 15 behinds. We're one away from really getting our noses in front of the contest. <laughs> well, we are in front, but I just feel like one more will just get the nose really out there. Chaos football through the middle, McVee. Tommy Midge, bodies flying everywhere. Van Royen to get it out to 16 points. Come on, Rue. Coming back. Yeah! Yeah! Go the day! Yeah! Yeah! Come on! Uh. <laughs> I love that one. Bit of a cameo by Adrian yeah. from the team. <laughs> Unbelievable. Out to 16 points. Oh. Yeah, the neck. No, shut up. You're never home against this one. <laughs> a minute 40 to go. We're going to get it done. We're going to knock off the pies. They've only lost one game all season. They've lost two in 20-something matches. This is the best Melbourne game I've seen in a long, long time. The tackling, the pressure, winning the key one-on-ones. There's a Melbourne chant going around the MCG. What an emphatic performance. A minute to go, Pies still pressing. Two quick run to the Pies. 26 seconds to go. They've got it within four points. They couldn't, could they? 
Half their supporters have left already. Here we go, Here we go. We just need one more clearance. Well done, boys. Well done, boys. Twenty seconds to go. Wayne needs to go end to end in 10 seconds. We held on. Oh my God, Craig McRae says you've got to play the minutes against that mob. And like I, I understood his philosophy, but Jesus, <laughs> did we have to play the minutes? With 20 seconds to go, the Pies were well and truly still in it. Just needed one more stoppage and we got it done. Got the ball forward. That's one of the best victories I've seen in the flesh. Um, shaky first half of the season for the Ds, but man, we've steadied a little bit, which is exciting defensively. We've been pretty sound, so um, we get the buy. Our buy is only 10 day break. Like other teams have 10 day breaks just in the middle of the year. Um, you know, most teams who get the buy get, you know, at least two weeks, but we only get a 10 day break and then we take on the Cats. But geez, we've got a platform and a foundation to really launch ourselves in the second half of this season. That is it for another game day vlog. Oh my God, I've got adrenaline just pumping through my veins. That was intense. The Pies are still a dangerous outfit. I think we all found out today. Um, you know, they had the flu, they've had injuries. Uh, they had a lot go against them. They got absolutely dominated for three quarters and they were still in it with 20 seconds to go. I think that speaks a lot about where they're at at the moment. Um, but geez, we needed to pinch one and we got one. So, so stoked with that result and I cannot wait to take on the cats in 10 days time. I appreciate all the support um, and I'll see you all for some more content very, very soon. Cheers guys.